December 11th of Let's Talk About 25 Days of Christmas. Home Alone is the movie today. A whole yeah. cheese pizza just for me. An eight-year-old boy, oh wait, no, an eight-year-old troublemaker must protect his house from a pair of burglars when he is accidentally left a home alone with his family during Christmas vacation. Uh. IMDb summaries are very short, I'm starting to realize. This movie came out almost three years ago, as of yesterday, as we are recording of this. But that made me feel old. You were born in 1999, Gundy. Yeah, but Home Alone is one of those <laughs> movies that's nostalgic for Christmas time now. But you don't remember when it came out, though? That, okay, yeah, well. but it's like Die Hard. <laughs> it's a Christmas family tradition. Who's right R? <laughs> So, it takes place during Christmas time, so it's a Christmas movie. So? He said, I Die Hard know. is a Christmas movie. I will fight you on that. Fight me right now, Gindy. Right here, right now. And I, if All I right, win, I'm getting the butter you, sock. If I win, you bring Neptune back. Deal? I told you, I didn't kill him! It'll I'm be really back. watching these in order. We'll settle this in court. Joke's on you! I've got Phoenix Wright on my side! No, I don't see a chance. Yeah, you're gonna get hanged after but. three days! <laughs> I have Barry B. Benson. What?! That's no! Right. <laughs> I don't mean to interrupt your little cat fight here, but, uh... It's November 17th, and we're only 11 episodes in. Oh, Lord, you gotta... <laughs> I've only ended three episodes, because I was editing the Grinch, but my, my video editor decided to be like, No! Just, and decided just to stop exporting in the middle of it. In the middle you of exporting. you have all the stuff. audio saved? Oh, yeah, I got it all saved. Just gotta re-edit it. It takes, like, me, like, takes me like a half hour. Then we're gonna be Do fine. It. We can record some of these in December if we have to. I think we've reached yeah, the past. Because we are that. in America, the seventh greatest country. I can't sing the real song because we'll get claimed. So enjoy this little pause. parody that is pretty lame. <clears throat> um, I think we're pretty much far enough into where we don't have to, like, what am I trying to say? far enough in to the point where we can record some in December. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna be strong. Okay, we so are a guys strong is... band of misfits, but together, we will claim this new world. What's your guys' experience with uh, Home Alone? I would binge watch the first three movies when I was left home alone to uh, babysit our dogs. Um, uh, I watched. I only watched the movie when it came on, like on like ABC Family, because I don't think we ever even had the VHS. I'm gonna be honest. I never actually sat down and watched this movie. Wait, what? You've it's never pretty seen good. Home Alone. Really? I've seen it. I've seen it in like the background, but I've never really like really watched it that much. Kit Vin, you're telling me you've never seen Home Alone? Yeah. Oh, no. it's been it's been everywhere. Like every school plays it. I just never, I've been, I've seen it. I've been bits and pieces, but I never really like you know. All right, well, we need to bite into this meat and potatoes pronto. Well, I want to look at the parents' guide first. You know, I'm doing fine with this. I mean, like look, look at Pop. He, he's innocent. He, you know, we gotta make sure it's not gonna be tainted by this movie. Hey, is there bad words in this one? In Finland, this movie is rated S. For what? I don't know. Wait, hold on. Let me look up Finland's movie rating system. Uh, uh. All right. All right. Sex and nudity. Eighty-four out of one hundred and fifty comes. Um, oh, they nine. rated S, and S stands for all ages because it's right, suitable for all ages. Uh, it's just, I wish I'm saying it wouldn't be a, wouldn't be a bad movie. <laughs> uh, Finland. 
You know they got a place in Finland that makes it like Christmas year round? They got a fancy ice castle and things. Oh, um, okay. <clears throat> it's okay, go over. Go to this uh, good old parents guide. There's plenty um, of movies yourself. Now, uh, Kevin is seen nude, but, 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 he's covered in a towel, so. So, so oh, we're good there. Yeah, we're good there. Um, this other stuff that I'm talking about. I'm playing a game, someone oh. told me about a Pokemon they saw, and then they just disappeared. Oh, there, there, there's, there's, uh, there's a lot of profanity. Uh, there's some mild drinking on the plane, and uh, Santa Claus smokes a cigarette. Uh, Santa, no. Oh, come on. Even Santa Claus needs a break every now and then. Yeah, he's, he's not a lot of uh, intensity, so that's surprising for this movie. Oh, uh, no, there's the violent in the gore. <clears throat> Not a lot, yeah. though. There's like five. Like five sections, a lot of right? Okay, uh... We're gonna go watch it, I guess. Alright! We need to any get final, to... Any final, final words? I Be kind, hold. rewind... No, that's the end! <laughs> yep. No, we can't... We can't end it without seeing it! What this is the... Again? No, this is like the, this is the before we see it part. Oh, Did you forget okay. how our show works? We've been doing this all month. Mm. My last word, keep the change, you filthy animal. Did you close the car? Chicken, you're a turkey. <coughs> anyway, <laughs> I love I love how satisfying the death trap that uh, Kevin sets up is. I don't like the death traps; they make me cringe because I feel the pain. Because if you think about it, like the stuff that they use for like the stuff you know about Home Alone isn't until like the very end. Yeah. If you were to cut that out, it would just be a wholesome family story about a kid learning that, uh, maybe family isn't so bad. <laughs> and this would be great, bro. But then oh, once, yeah. uh, but then once he's like, this is my house, I then it mean. turns into a, uh, documentary on psychopathy. <laughs> okay. There's one thing next time you watch it, the other one. When he, okay, he, they spill the milk on the table, right, and everything? Yeah. Then the dad, the, the dad, bumped, and full, like, like one kid fuller is standing behind the chair. The chair goes into him, and it's already, and it bends because it's like a, a plastic, like a rubber chair. <laughs> Looks awful. Well, oh, yeah, go easy on the Pepsi. He pees the bed. Second movie, you can actually see like Fuller looking at Kevin, knowing dang well he pees the bed. It's like, like oh, yeah. you can sit with. Me I've this hardly time. seen the first one. I've hardly seen. I have seen the second one. I think maybe once. And like, as if for I'm the being third honest. and fourth ones, we don't talk about those. <laughs> don't forget the fifth one. Wait, there's a fifth <laughs> one. What? Don't forget yeah. that. P don't, don't forget that PS2 game. Don't forget the reboot that's coming out. Don't forget the don't forget the angry video game nerd episode where he got Macaulay Culkin. 
Oh yeah, yeah, that was that was awesome. That's a pretty good one. Yeah. I actually got him to be the pizza boy. I want. <laughs> And Macaulay was get... heartbroken by some of the video games. I can't wait to get to the level of popularity where we can just get like a random celebrity like that. Who knows? Maybe we can get celebrity. like Doug Walker or someone Doug famous Walker. on the internet. Okay, I don't, don't, I don't Doug Walker. I don't want Doug Walker, but if all right. Doug Walker, you know. But if he if he offered to be on the podcast, I mean, I'd say yes because you know it's Doug Walker. You know, I have way, the same birthday as that way. man. Either way, it's gonna be, you know, either a train wreck, or, you know, not a train wreck. Only uh, two outcomes in life. Only yeah. two outcomes in life. You become a potato, or you don't become a potato. <laughs> My grandfather told me that, before he gave me the pineapple farm. Oh yeah, the pineapple uh, farm, what happened? Pineapple, <laughs> give you the pineapple farm, okay. I still have it, yeah, I still have, I still have custody of the, pine of the pineapple farm. Mm -hmm. Wait, that's, wouldn't that mean, that's... like, ownership right? Oh, no? Wait. This is what, this is what the pineapples are. But, I, I, I noticed custody well, um, accounted for, like, kids and stuff. I was editing, I was editing a few of the Let's Talk Abouts, and I noticed that... <laughs> oh, How to Green So Christmas, and then Arthur Christmas, and I think Polar Express, maybe? I say the wrong day. Like, um, I'm like, this is December 5th, and it's December, it's December 4th, so, <laughs> yeah, hopefully no one noticed that. I, 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 I was trying to add a little, like, annotation on the screen that said, like, the right date, and then I said that, hey, but I couldn't, hey. I, I couldn't make the font a different color, so it was just white and white, so it looked bad, so. You, 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 you need, or, not the day. not be the day for us. Huh. Well, yeah, yeah. Please. Well, I'm, I'm saying the day it comes out, you know, and we're recording this in advance, obviously, because this is November yeah, 19th. Plus... Good lord. Good lord. We're already on... Okay, we're only 11 in, guys. <laughs> we're only 11 in out of 25. Okay, we need to start recording for these. Yeah, we need to get that bread, boys. I mean, we're so far in that we, are like, we can start recording. We can, if we need to, we can record a few in December, but it just be, yeah. be, per, per, be preferred to, like, you know. Yeah, we yeah. only got, like, a few days left. Anyways, what would you rate the movie? I give it a 10 out of 10. I it's a it Christmas like a, classic. It's like a solid, like, I don't know, it's okay. Home Alone yeah. is a Christmas classic in the same uh, vein I'm a hot Die take. Hard. I'm, 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 I'm a hot take it. It's alright. I like the Poca Poca. I like that. But honestly, sitting down and watching it, all right, like I can see why I can see the appeal. Don't get me wrong, I can see the appeal, but it's not my thing. I'm gonna give better. you the I... count of ten before I pump your guts full of Nerf guns. Um, I hear the sequel's better. If you don't like the first one, you won't like this. You won't like the second one. I know, I know this. <laughs> well, I know that. Like I've seen some. Of, I mean, I've seen like number two like once, and we were watching at school, so. Why is it called Home Alone? Why is it called Lock? It's still called Home Alone. It's really big. Yeah, well, in the sequel, he goes to a hotel, and that's kind of like a home. It's a uh, franchise, you know? They can't just yeah, call yeah. it Boston, New York. I don't know what that is. Yeah. That, that I, had this, it. <laughs> I had the second game for it, I think. I don't know. Yeah. I, don't know what, I had a bunch of second games growing up. I don't know what happened to those. I only have the Thompson yeah. now. And I think the third one was something to do with a government conspiracy, something weird thing like that. And it was like the only one that didn't take place during Christmas time. Yeah, it's in like January. You want to hear? Hey, the Christmas Grinch is still up. Okay. Are you guys excited for? Four or five, though. Are you are you guys excited for after? I think four or five. I forget which one it is. But they they're only this channel like every year. And it's stupid. Okay. Yeah. I don't hate. I don't hate. But I can't wait until we're not doing this stuff anymore. I don't uh, think we can see it now. We should do after we're done recording these. We should wait until the new year, and that's when we'll start doing a, like a consistent weekly upload because. This is like taking oh. a lot out of us. Oh, can we can <laughs> we, we like uh, review free 
first. So that's like November. Yeah. Oh, I mean, if we could get it out in time, maybe we could do it on Thanksgiving. That's in like a week. If we have to upload, she's pretty good um, following the episode right now. No. Oh, lost me, yeah. Well, but, um, okay, so, yeah, this is, we're gonna be doing, like, probably, like, week to week after we've done this whole 25 Days of Christmas thing. That's gonna start, I don't know, what, maybe we'll start on the first, maybe we'll start, like, on the new, like, on the first, it's when, when is that? Let me check my calendar. But, yeah, and that's gonna be relatively easy to do, I think, because we're gonna, like, we're just discussing the podcast, <laughs> the podcast, okay. Uh, yeah. We're just, like, playing the podcast while we're on, the, okay, that's not a Friday, oh, perfect, I like Fridays, that's a good, that's a good day to... Mm. What level of mayor? What level of mayor are we at right now? About four. Oh, Friday. About, mm. There's like there's like three to four, like weeks in a year or a month. I mean, so we just gotta record three to four in advance, and I can just schedule them to come out each week. Uh, anyway, Home say Alone. Friday, I think of French fries. We well, don't Friday. have to just talk about Home Alone. You know, it's, <laughs> we can talk. We can talk about the movie that's coming after Home Alone Two. You know, what's that again? Home Alone 3? Jingle all the way. I want a anymore. lovely cheese pizza now. We're going to be watching Jingle it. All the Way on the temperature. I cannot wait for that one. I can't wait. I can't wait for the next ones that are coming. Because those are all, those we watch are like pretty much like, you know, Christmas classics, except for Prep Landing, Prep Landing 2, even though those are pretty good. But, you know, you got like the Santa <laughs> Claus, How to Green Still Christmas, Polar Express, you know, just the ones you got always got to watch. But these ones are either, like, not obscure, but they're more fun. They're gonna be more fun to talk about, I think, than the ones that are coming out after Ooh. Home Alone 2. I'll send a picture. Ooh. I don't, I don't want to spoil them, even though you can see them in the, in the teaser. You don't know what order, though. So I'm gonna, I'll send hey, a picture of them. You know, trailers now they spoil everything. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah. So I already we're gave fine. Them, I forgot which one it was, but I gave like vague descriptions of each one of them, so. Yeah, yeah, it was something like, uh, I don't know, uh... You were there. Two split? Something what? like that? Like, two split. you get double the fun or whatever. Yep. Two split. <laughs> That's what you and me. Alright, you got... I'm trying to be careful <laughs> Let's do this what again. I say. I don't wanna... Let's do this again. Okay, we got... Christmas noise all the way. A movie based off a Christmas classic, a story that takes place on Christmas, an elderly woman gets ran over by a reindeer brutally, well, no. um, dog man. thinks she's reindeer, uh, they sped up the music and they're like, oh, that sounds good, let's market this. They're yellow, <laughs> you roast them. Oh, I don't know, that, that's weird. Um, this one was forgot, and it's about, sto- it's a story about toys. Um, all dogs sing carols. <laughs> Isn't that neat? You know, yeah. this cat's pretty grumpy, and it takes place on Christmas, so it <laughs> counts. We're gonna no, take a vacation from the Christmas Monday. movies in, in January, and this one, yeah. Uh, we got some Christmas episodes of a certain show about a, a, uh, of a show whose creator is being trampled on, his grave is being trampled on. But then again, that could be any show. And then the final one. You know, just a cl- Christmas classic that I'm not gonna say because you know, surprise. <laughs> hmm. So, right. yeah, roasted I... over a fire. Yep. Eggs. Eggs. <laughs> you know, you gotta, you gotta get the pan. You gotta put the grease on it. You Ooh. crack the egg and uh, you cook it at the campfire. Can we? <laughs> what? Crack the egg at the campfire. You have a great breakfast. <laughs> Who be making eggs while camping? Who go camping? Camping's fun. I don't. I went camping like once. It was fun. Uh, <laughs> once, like I went camping once thirteen years ago. I think it was thirteen years ago. I, I brought my Thompsons with me. I thought that was pretty fun. <laughs> it was thirteen years ago, but there was a crazy man with a hockey mask, and we had to go home early. I had... I had Crocs, right? And I, I used them to go into the river or whatever, the lake or whatever. And afterwards, they were all wet, so I put them in front of the fire to um, to to 
so to uh, to warm them up. And I, like, I, like after I pulled, no, after I pulled them away, they had, like brown on them. So I roasted my I roasted my crocs and some marshmallows. Mm. Well, roasted see. croc, just like grandma used to make. So the forbidden heat. Uh, why did you leave me? Why did what? you leave me, grandma? <laughs> grandma, no. It's because of Dylan, isn't it? Grandma, I'm no. sorry I can't be the better grandson. I'm sorry. Can you need to talk, you need to talk about it? No, no. It's my <laughs> secret character background, and I'm sticking to it. Well, <laughs> I am home alone like Macaulay Culkin. Are you lost in New York? No, but I am three. <laughs> I'm only three years old. <laughs> like uh, that book with the kid with the big nose. <laughs> you know, the kid with the big nose and the kid who's got the crazy hair. And, uh, the freaky guy with the freckle on his thingy. Uh, and there's like the, there's like the, the, the older brother who plays in a rock and roll band. Annoying Orange? Guy, the one kid? Annoying Orange? <laughs> well, in the theme song, you know, this says that you're playing a rock and roll band, you know? No! <laughs> That's where I no, no, the other one. Oh, the slightly uh, less, the slightly irritating orange. Or, or no, wait, he's a tangerine. <laughs> yes, like slightly, slightly, slightly irritating tangerine. <laughs> slightly irritating tangerine. New, new, new show concept. <laughs> uh, we have a lot of fun here, everybody. <laughs> we have fun here. <laughs> we have fun here. Why would you laugh like um, Dr. Hibbert? Who? <laughs> From from Simpsons, like you know, he's like, <laughs> well, that's Candy. You see, he just didn't know. See, see, see. Well, I have oh, right. been binge watching The Simpsons, so maybe I'm doing subconscious things. Be standard stunt, Homer. Did they ever? Did they ever parry Home Alone? I don't think like, so. But in the like, new Treehouse like, of Horror, they parody Toy Story. Like, or like. The parents leave, like go on vacation or something. I feel like they would, or, but it, it and didn't happen. It'll be, it'll be Bart home alone. I feel like I they would, and, and he would be like defending himself from like Smithers or something. I don't know. Smithers and Mr. Brown. I don't know. Well, hey, you know the saying: if there's a plot line, say it with me now. Simpsons did it. We didn't say it. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> What's a guy gotta do to say Simpsons did it now? Literally just say it. I don't, know, I don't know why that reminds me of a SpongeBob thing. It's just like the Dunces and Dragons episode where like they're just like like when they went back in time. <laughs> it's like, let's go up and get do some mud right here. <laughs> like when they're like, <laughs> like in a cell. I'm starving. That'd be fine, that'd honestly be me. <laughs> so, and I'm, I'm in like a cell, like, this is gonna have to be just like, tough if I will never be able to stop it. it. I would never be over him just straight up stabbing that guy. Fine. He's like, oh, it happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going you to be some stitches. You want to on a Monty Python sketch or something? I like, the, I, like the, I, like the, I like the I like the one guy who tried to kill himself. It's like, someday, but not today. Yeah. That's a good episode. Yeah, aside from the dark stuff. I like the dark stuff. Have you ever, okay, as a kid, I noticed, like, I'm like, I noticed this, I'm like, why does Sandy not have an air helmet? Like, she can't breathe in the water. I noticed, if you look at her helmet in the, in the episode, there's gills on the side of it. So that helmet is basically letting her breathe underwater. Oh! Hmm. Well, now you know, Gendy. Now you know. Now we're gonna Sandy's a fish now. You're a fish. 
And he's a fish now. What a breakthrough. Aren't we all little fish? Well, in the words of Scott the Waz, just be glad we're not fish right now. Boy, we have it good. Being a fish is radical. It'd be radical because <laughs> the food falls from the sky. Imagine you just, no, like, no, I mean just, like a wild fish, can't... like something that lives in the bottom of the sea. Like I want to be a, I wanna be a gold... fish. I want to be a goldfish because you imagine just like just, just like walking around your, your house, you know, you're like, oh, that's nice, and all of a sudden, a, freaking, a sandwich falls on your head. Can't yeah, fish don't walk. <laughs> no, they do where I live. Yeah, okay, guys. We have lakes here. Okay, guys, it's time for my problem. I problem. think about it. Do crabs think that fish are flying? Time for a math problem. Okay, there are five fish. Three of them drowned. How many are left? Five. Why? Because, because the owner didn't clear out the other fish. What? I don't know. Can't fish can't drown. <laughs> oh God, yeah, they can. I forgot how, but they can actually do. They actually can't drown. <laughs> yes. I read oh, somewhere that drowned. sharks have to swim forward or else they'll drown. You heard it. From uh, I believe it was Phineas and Ferb that said that. I think it was fish hooks. I've yeah. never seen it on fish hooks. <laughs> it was like this really, really dark joke of like this shark. It was just like, like I think it was B or something. She was like, you know, that fish have to keep on moving, otherwise they die. And like it cut to like a shark, and it's like, it's true. And it, like he stopped to say, <laughs> and the crowd is just like, ah, what have I done? It's just like sort of floating <laughs> up to the surface. Amazing. They also poked fun at the fact that uh, uh male seahorses are the ones that kept pregnant. Oh uh, yeah, I remember, I, okay. I um I remember when he had his babies and the commercial before it completely spoiled it. Completely, it was a dog with a blog promo, and it was like it was like the girl. She's like, in this episode, Mr. Baldwin finally has his babies. It was just it was like, oh my god. Spoiler is not. Why would you spoil that? Like, it's, it reminds me of another dog of a log thing. Like they got spoiled by like a promo. So in this episode, right, um, the brother he has like long hair. But he got a cut, and throughout the episode, like he's wearing a hood, and you're like not supposed to see what, see what his hair looks like. And then in the commercial on the premiere of this episode, it showed an episode, it showed a preview for the next episode where you can clearly see his hair. So they just completely ruined like the whole surprise factor of it. So, and also Andy Mac, Andy Mac also also spoiled the whole like I'm not your sister, I'm your mother, you know thing. So what? That's, that's a, it, like that's a, that's a weird show. I, yeah, I hear it's good though. Disney Channel's first yeah, gay character, so like that's, that's pretty neat. the first time a character in a Disney thing came out as gay. Well, there was the two moms in Gully like Charlie. Yeah, but, but they didn't have it come out. They were like, so Bill yeah, has two moms. Nothing yeah, gets he's, past he's, you, He Bob. said he was gay. <laughs> he sort of said he was gay, gay at one point. That's, that's pretty cool. That's, and there was pretty, also the... Uh, like he said, like, I'm gay. <laughs> well, uh, I can, also, I can meet. in the behind the scenes of the... Uh, Zootopia, they're like Judy's neighbors were a gay couple. So was Cole Hauser. Well, good for them. Uh, well, the only problem is that uh, they Hauser, fought a lot. Cole Hauser is the leopard, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the wow. leopard. Oh, good for him. Good for him coming out. Good for him. <laughs> no, he was just obvious, honestly. Yeah, but is it really obvious though? Yes. Some people, it's hard to tell, you know? No. Like, Gindy, just... Gindy, are you coming out? No, no, no. It's just <laughs> hard to tell sometimes. <laughs> Why me? What? What about... But... I'm confused. We went from, like, uh... We went from, like, Dog with a Blog to Zootopia to coming out. What were we talking about again? Home Alone, alright. Oh yeah. Was he really Home Alone <laughs> though? Were we- was he ever- Is, is, is he Home Alone? Thing. Is he Home Alone? In the eyes Spider of God? Bird. That is so- There's only cool. one race, the human race. <laughs> what about NASCAR? <laughs> the awkward little silence. 
uh, my nails at work today, oh, and so, um, I have a little, like I have a little, no. I have a little. Oh, wait, what? Go ahead, go first. I asked for something. I was expecting someone to do a slap, and nobody did it. What about my wow. card? <laughs> so, at work today, it reminded me of like um. So I have a, I wear a coat at work, at um, whatever, and I have a Mr. Roger pin on me, and like this nice side older lady, she was like, "Oh, what's on your pin?" I'm like, "Oh, it's Mr. Rogers," and she's like, "Oh, he's a Christian man." I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> that was all that was said on that matter. He's a Christian man. Uh, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> I mean, he was, but like, <laughs> it's like that's the only, that was the only thing she's like, "Oh, she was, he was a Christian man." You're like, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, I was like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's like something you Wonderful say something, day it's like in the... say something about it other than that. Just like, oh, I love Mr. Rogers. You were quite a Christian boy. You always <laughs> followed the God. You're like, I like his show. Yeah, and he would always let you borrow his Veggie Tales pencil sharpener. Speaking of uh, coming out, you know that Mr. Rogers was probably most likely bisexual. Ooh. Yeah, he said in uh, in interview, I think it was something like that. He says he's been attracted to men and women. So, oh, I'm not Lord, saying that he's bisexual. I'm saying that it was a possibility. No, I don't want to assume. I don't want to assume because he's a dead man, and he was a very wholesome <laughs> man. Not that you oh, can't be wholesome today. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna shut up. I'm just gonna shut up before I say anything. <laughs> hey, you can be wholesome and gay. Look at uh, Jim Parsons. I didn't say you couldn't. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm just gonna shut up now. What if you talk, please? You're better off. Um. <laughs> so how's the weather? <laughs> Pretty alright. Uh, okay, you hear, you hear it's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's gonna snow. It's gonna snow in like half half of the country. Yeah, I don't get snow. And they though. say global warming's and they say global warming's real. Shaking. Yeah, it's global, if it's global, if it's global warming's real, then why is it why is it snow? So take that, We're king, uh, by the way. Uh, We're king, by the way. Girl. You said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is not a talk of, like, logistics, and we do not, not speak for the uh, values of ourselves. But man, this sure is fine. Wait, what? What, what is it, wait, does that mean dead now? Is, is what mean how? Is, is the is the Biden's America being dead now that it, now that it actually is? <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah, I guess that, I never thought of it that way. That was a good meme. <laughs> oh, this piece of pizza for me. I want a pizza now. <laughs> don't get don't get a pizza for your dreams. I don't really your get dreams. one because uh, the only store open now is a gas station, and I don't want to walk out there. You want some gas station pizza? The gas station pizza is good. If you get it like the right hour, it can taste pretty good. Why is it so quiet? <laughs> yes, Why sir. Are you not so quiet. Why are you wearing a fake mustache? Why aren't you wearing one? Good with Charlie was amazing. That was one of the many. Very wholesome. Tokyo? That thing Gabe likes? What? <laughs> um, did you guys see the Tamir reunion video? It's, it's a no. Movie. Yeah, Charlie <laughs> is. It, Charlie is just. She's like 10 or 11 now, and you're. It's painful. I'm, She's just never eating on the show, Ooh. so while they're all there and missing, she's just kind of sitting there awkwardly smiling. She's just kind of nodding her head. She doesn't remember. <laughs> no, she, she remembers a little bit, but not a lot. And hard being like, so high. <laughs> it started when she was only two months old, and then it, like, and then it stopped when she was like five, I think. Or no, four. Because each, each season, it was basically her. Hang like, in there, baby. 
like the second season it was like Charlie's two, and then the third season there was Charlie's three, and then fourth season there was Charlie's Charlie's four, and then Toby's one. And Toby was the second baby that came in, Ew. and um, I don't know the show. Um, Toby actually this is going so Amy, who's the mom, or not her actual name, but um, she got pregnant, and so they decided to incorporate that into. I'll see it during the Christmas yeah. movie, which I don't know why I didn't add it to the list. That would have been a great thing to add to the list. And in the 10 year reunion, they like tried to talk about how they tried to hide it in the show before they like revealed it. So, um, like, <laughs> so they said, like, um, yeah, there was like a lot of like, she was like, she would like hold like a laundry basket or things like that, just like to uh, like, cover it. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Defenders. I, mean, okay, I, wa- I watched it on Netflix, right? I didn't watch it on TV. I didn't see the Christmas movie. So I skipped. I went from season like two to three. I'm pretty sure three, whatever. whatever. I went from the, uh, the previous season to the next season. I didn't know that they were going to have another baby. So, like, the open- episode opens up with like, the dad, Bob. He's like, okay, we reached the point of your mother's pregnancy where she, if she's unhappy, we're unhappy. And I'm like, wait, 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 I didn't watch it near the end, so... Like, near, the end, it, near the end, it kind of slipped. Like, you know, not as good, but... You know, it's gonna be My favorite hurt. episode was when uh, Teddy dated that guy who was into, like, the nerdy card game that Gabe liked called Tokyo. Tokyo. It's like they couldn't you know, decide what to parody. Like, they had the monsters look Tokyo. like something out of Magic the Gathering. But then they took Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, chopped them up, and said, Tokyo, why not? <laughs> Tokyo. I mean, that par- parody book at once. Reminds me of the Curly episode where Curly uh, freaked out because the guy collected two new babies. So, so, I am still mad at that. Curly, <laughs> you could have had the perfect guy. He would have treated you right. He would have been nice to you. He was so big, bulky, and firm, but no! Because he collects what you mean? now he's a loser! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <I'm so laughs> Indy, if I curl it, calm down. <laughs> okay, Never okay, two girl, things to calm down. <laughs> two, two things to say about a curly. One, That'd be like me if I was like single now and I was just like bring a girl to my house and just like, <laughs> like oh yeah, by the way, I clicked me just tapes and like, oh, how many do you have? Like two, three, two hundred. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, that's, that's, I see and then it. also, if, uh, sorry, they go can't ahead. tolerate your hobby, then they ain't looking for. Well, the person I'm dating now is pretty great, so yeah. But, um, anyways, yeah, and then so. <laughs> I don't okay. laugh at well thought out jokes or just perfectly timed ones or anything. It's just like, like this will be like, maybe if someone will show me like this will be like close to Twitter, like, oh my god, this thing is so funny. I just look at it, I'm just straight faced. I was looking for a mask on a red bubble yesterday. I see this picture of Gibby holding a banana on a mask, and I just I lost it. I, was just... <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame me. I'd lose it too. It's just Gibby holding a banana. Gibby. Okay, so the other day, the, the other day, um, the, the other day I turned on I turned on the TV and Nick was on, and it's just, it's just Spencer sitting there at the desk, and then and then so, suddenly the um the 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 the, the, um, the bell catches on fire right in front of me, just screams, <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then like another time. I, t- I turn it on, and it's just, uh... Oh, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> oh, Lord. Here we go again. Our Curly out of context yeah, is amazing, definitely. honestly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, um... 
I turn it on. It's the, it's the um the one do the one do like sick on that co- the ca- Carly's couch. The one like crazy guy. Oh yeah, Bluebird. <laughs> that was at Freddy's mom's house. Seen a yeah. pop by Carly. Bluebird could become my daddy. Oh, I have a story. I have a, I have a, I have a story after you're done, Pop. I'm already done. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, um. I love that. I love the like. He's like, ah, press the button. He's just like, and the fan falls and he just screams. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, that girl is amazing. Uh, okay, okay. So you guys know Nora, right? The fa- crazy fan girl, right? Yeah, so yeah. She was, she was playing a teenager, but she was actually like an adult woman. And so her and Luber are actually married in real life, and they have a son. I forgot his name. What? Yeah, they got they got met they met on they met on the show, and now they have a son. And I think he's like three. And um and um I think Jerry Trainer, like who's playing Spencer, I'm pretty sure he babysits him sometimes. Oh what I Man, I Carly is just Dispect too to real, you. man. Dispatch brought to you by the uh Butch Herman podcast. That's I I I only I only watch it for the guest stars, okay. Yeah, not for Butch Hartman. <laughs> Oh yeah, yes. uh, I don't know if you guys knew this, but Freddy's having another, uh, having another, the Nathan Crest, he's having another baby. Who? Nathan Crest, who plays, uh, Freddy. Okay. He's having another baby. Isn't that, isn't My that baby? Throwing up to destroy people. Yeah. Man. Where'd they go to keep that, that pack rat? The what? Um, pack rat. Oh, pack rat. Yeah, Spencer got like addicted to this. Oh, like pack rat parody Pac-Man arcade thing. machine one yeah. episode. Yeah, 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 pack rat. It was like my you, favorite episode of the show. You know that Bluebirds? Is the Art Harley? Is the Art Carly website still up? No, it's archived. Um, it's on. It's on the way back, but it's not up um, anymore. <laughs> this is a weird tangent to go on from like home to home. Just, uh, hey, that's the beauty of this podcast. We went from podcast. Home Alone. It's perfect, <laughs> balanced family awkwardness. We went from Home Alone to talking about Gibby holding a banana. <laughs> I, I don't. I, this <laughs> is amazing. Holding a banana. This isn't. This isn't where I expected it to go, but I like it. <laughs> Gibby. I like. Gibby. I like. I like. I, that reminds me of um, another curly thing. Or um Spencer. <laughs> like like Carly like in like like the dan- like I dream dance it was like the second episode. She like, th- has this whole like dance sequence and like, she's like pretty dressed and everything. And then <laughs> they do the exact same thing but with Spencer. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> He's like wearing the exact same dress and everything. Just... Also, the Dan Schneider timeline in the Dan Schneider universe of shows is just it, it's 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 so weird. Okay? Here? Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, uh, let me mystify you with this. Ooh. Alright. So, I'm gonna start it with Drake and Josh. Drake and Josh. You got Drake and Josh, right? You got Helen. And, and then you got iCarly. So let's go to iCarly. Helen from Drake and Josh. You gotta remember her. She was the manager that. of the premiere. Then you go to iCarly. And then iCarly. Here. She watches, she watches Drake and Josh at one point. For several times. There's like two points that I can think of that they directly show like Drake and Josh, and it's funny. It shows like it shows like her just like seeing it, which is pretty funny. So, but here's the here's the here's the here's the thing though. Here's the thing. In Victorious, which is iCurly's sister show, Helen is there. She uh, she comes into the show is named Helen, and she says she was the manager of, of the premiere, and she even oh, yeah, mentions crazy thing. Steve. I got a whole thing. I got a whole thing. Okay, hold on. I got a whole thing, Giddy. And uh, Curly, in that episode, in, she's holding like a locker door because she's like attacking someone. It has an Curly sticker. And in uh, Curly, in Sam's locker, there's a picture of Drake Bell. D- this is. It's. It's. it's uh, this, okay. And then Sam and Cat happens. The crossover spin off series between uh, Curly and, and Victorious. It was established. That Drake and Josh was a show in that curly and was real and victorious. In the, an episode, um, S- Sam said, "Like you can't just make uh, baby noises and pretend to be, actually be a baby." And then, and then, um, and then Sam and Cat, she's like, 
It worked in Drake and Josh. Here's the thing, though. In another episode, <laughs> Crazy Steve appeared in a mental institution. So, what's real and what's not real? Also, Game Shakers oh. and Henry Danger take place in the same universe, but I Carly is a show within that show because Nathan Kress appears in that Game Shakers on an episode. Who played Freddy, by the way? He appeared in an episode of Game Shakers. <laughs> it's actually a really funny clip. Um, we he talked about who Freddy liked more, Sam or Carly, which is like you know fan service or whatever. And um, it was funny because they come into like his hotel room. And he's like and saying a bunch of stuff. He's like, I know what the goat did, but I can't tell you. <laughs> But um, uh, wait, I think I might be done with my tangent. Oh, and then Henry Danger. Okay. Henry Danger had um, Nathan Crest in it. And, like he was just interviewed at one point. Okay, the one, so, yeah. the one lady, the one lady, right? What if she's just? What if he was just a celebrity? No, 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 no. She said she's talking about Crazy Steve directly. I haven't seen anyone this crazy since Crazy Steve. Yeah, and you're just confusing she, she referenced Crazy Steve directly. And she, she, it was the, definitely the character because she's talked about in, okay, in Drake and Josh, she said, I was on this one show. I forgot what it's called, but she was like, that is not my job. It, it's just baffling to me. Also, Good Burger is a movie within the show because in Henry Danger, there was an episode where, um, they went to an abandoned video store and he's like, it's like, hey, look, Good Burger. I love this movie. I also had this amazing joke that I cannot find a clip of online. I, if someone has this clip, please. Please send me this clip because it's amazing. It's like a bunch of like tr- okay, so they meet Bigfoot right in the woods. This is Henry Danger. They meet Bigfoot in the woods, and Rayman, uh, not Rayman, <laughs> Captain Man is in the in, in the in the forest, right? And he's like, there's a bunch of traps and everything. He's like, oh look, a stack of pancakes. Oh look, a pizza. It's just, <laughs> this one of them is like season four, Will and Grace on Blu-ray. <laughs> it's just amazing. So and then what Bigfoot's like, and Bigfoot's just like, that's a good season. <laughs> Amazing. All right, I'm done. The, what if it's the same Bigfoot that was Carly? Oh my god. Conspiracy? How deep does this rabbit hole go? This is like weird. It's weird how like all the, and then oh yeah, the Zoe One Hundred One. He's also in this um thing because Zoe One Hundred One characters appear in uh, mm-hmm. a Curly. Oh yeah. Blicks in Drake and Josh. Blicks was okay. like the canonical soda juice Ooh. thing they drunk in Zoe 101. And pair phones. And I curly and like Drake and Josh and Victorious. Let me let me guess. That was I the same soda. Blicks to something like Gatorade. You know, something you drink that's sweet but not exactly I'm, soda. I'm not, I'm not sure on this one, but was it the same? Was it the same brand of soda that was in? Um, was it Keegan and Kel? No, no, Keegan and Kel just had like some generic brand thing. No, I would have remembered seeing Keegan Blix and Kel. in Keenan and Kel. I I, 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 just know he likes orange sodas. Yeah, I've, I I've have been. another one. I have another one. Like in Blix, when it comes to Zoe 101, they never say what kind of drink. Blicks is, but it's kind of implied to be some weird Gatorade kind of thing. I have another, uh, another tangent to go on of connected universes. Okay. Disney Channel connected universes. Canonically, in the sweet life of Zack and Cody, psychics and wizards exist because they have crossed over with Zatso Raven and Wizards of the Waverly Place. This also includes Hannah Montana, which means that the, and when they cross over the Jonas Brothers, so that means in the Jonas Brothers, it also means that there's that in there. It's, it's insane. If you really like, really like, really dig into this, it's insane. Yeah, you know, crossovers. You remember that? You remember the Wheel and Stitch ones where they like, they didn't even bother changing the art styles? So you just got like this like you got this like giant girl, this girl next to Lilo. Honestly, I don't I don't feel like those. I feel like only like one of those could probably be canon because it don't fit at all with the universe together. Yeah. <laughs> Just You've been talking a while. We've lost our mind at this point. We cannot. If we're talking about crossovers. We can't glance over the greatest crossover of all time. 
most what, ambitious what? one. The yeah, most ambitious Match one. Brothers. The, the most compelling story. The one that everybody loves. Steven Universe yes. Uncle. Steven Universe Uncle Grandpa. No, you silly! It's the Timmy Jimmy Power Hour trilogy. Wait, wait, uh, which, yeah. in, which implies which implies the the, the Nicktoons or reverse? Which, which does that mean that the Nicktoon games are canon? I okay. <laughs> I love the Jimmy Jimmy Power Hours because they gave us that they, they gave us Sheen being best friends with Morgan Freeman. I just love that. It's just I love that so much. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so random. It's amazing. So random. The Disney Channel show. I have never seen that. I think I've heard of that. that was- that was a spinoff of... It's a Sunny spinoff Chance. series based on Sunny with a Chance, which was also branched off into Cory with the ha- Cory in the House. Which it was, was the was last that, thing in wait, the Sunny okay. with a Chance which universe was, before inevitable cancellation. So you still wait, wait, that's a Raven. That's a spin- spinoff of a spinoff, you mean? Yeah, yeah it's like, okay, it was that's a Raven. And then that broke off into Cory in the House. And then that broke off into Sunny with a Chance. And that broke off into that. <laughs> it's just so random. <laughs> My God! I don't know why. In, in the end, Son- in Sunny with a Chance, it's always been in my head ever since I saw the episode. The episode just, episode just air over and over. It's like one, one of them, like the blonde guy. He just, he just did like generic Disney, Disney Channel star guy, and um, he's like t- talking to her or something. And he drinks way too much water, and then he throws up water on her, and he really stuck in like stuck in my brain. I just, I, um, there was an episode of, I, it was Sony with a chance, I'm not entirely sure, where Jeff Dunham and Walter were in an episode, not Walter from the Muppets, Walter, his puppet, Jeff Dunham's puppet, they were in an episode and they were like security guards, I want to see that episode because I just remember seeing the previews. Really watched that show, I didn't like it. You guys remember when y'all thought Jeff Dunham was funny? Yep. <laughs> then you grow up and then you realize... Sometimes our childhood favorites can be problematic. Have you seen his newest Netflix special? No. It's so tired. It's really awesome. You're, you're hearing me going. Yeah, yeah, you're going deaf. Go to go, go to ear doctor. Uh, Urologist? Uh, Urologist? Audiologist, I think it is. At least that's what they call them in Britain. What are you, British? Well, I know Pop's probably British because he spells color with the U. <laughs> no, I do not. Yeah, you do. Well, if you think about it, it makes more sense that way. Yeah, you like you drink tea constantly and everything, and it's like nothing. Why are you, like, <laughs> you doxing? Why are you doxing? I like how Gendy's like, oh, there's probably wrap it up before you're burning it, your recording equipment burns you up, and like, ah, it'll be fine. And then, like, and then it literally crashes. I really <laughs> hope we save this or salvage as much as we can, because this is some it, of our it best. Just cut, it just cuts off. Craig just cuts off. Uh, like, that, that's just, that's funny, though. That's that kind of funny. <laughs> Yeah, I was looking at the chat to see how long we were recording. This might be one of our longest yet. Maybe. It's almost an hour. You wanna call you wanna call it a call it a call it an episode? Well I was, I, was, I, was, I was gonna I was gonna call it let's talk about home alone, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> let's, talk about, let's, talk, let's, let's talk about Home Alone and it's like trying to see whatever it's called. It's like, let's act, let's act in Nickelodeon. Hey, make like yeah. yakety yak, don't talk back. It's just a starting point, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just a topic, you don't have to talk about it any kind of time. It's, like, it's a starting point. Alright, um, kind, we want, oh yeah, oh, tomorrow we're talking, we're talking about Home Alone 2. Um, yeah. 
Happy, bir- happy birthday, Mr. Birthday. You know, I hope you... Probably older. Probably older, Mr. Birthday. Yeah, only old people watch this. Happy 17th birthday if it's your 17th birthday. If it is your 17th birthday, I just blew your mind. Alright. Can rewind. Goodbye.